Hello, welcome to Flower Juice. My name is John McDonald, and today I'm going to show you three simple ways to finish off a wedding bokeh. So what we've done is we've prepared a simple hand-tied bokeh here, and I'm just going to show you three different ways of doing it. So the way that I really like to do this is to use like a double-sided tape, and I learned this a few years ago. Now this is one that you can get from Oasis uh, as an actual product, but you can use any double-sided tape you like. Um, Basically, you get them in DIY stores and it's for carpets. Uh, so what I've done with my bokeh is I've made sure that the stems are really neat and I've bound them at the top where I would normally bind a hand tie, but I've bound them further down and that just brings them all together. So what I'm going to do is just, I've cut a length and I just bring it round and attach it to itself and that makes it very easy to just strip off the film that's on top. So then we're going to cut another little section so the great thing about using the tape is it means that you can be binding your bokeh, the phone goes or you get interrupted, it means you can place it down and then come back to it and it hasn't unraveled. So what we've got is we've really got our double-sided tape over the stems and then we can work. So the first way of binding is probably the most simple and I've got a wide satin ribbon here and I'm just going to put that on so straight away you can see that, that doesn't fall off. So I'm just going to come round and slightly make sure that it doesn't sit like this. I want to come a little bit lower so that it gives a straight edge at the bottom and then we're just going to work our way up. So the satin ribbon is a great ribbon for giving a nice finish. It's nice and clean, it's nice and firm and we can just work on this. Now you might have spent the last little while making your bokeh, what I would suggest is please make sure that your hands are clean or if they're not entirely clean that they're dry because at this point if you're using like a light coloured ribbon you're going to find that actually you can make the ribbon dirty and that's not such a good look. So we've got to the top and I'm just using good scissors to cut that. So this literally will not unbind now and what we can do is we can take that ribbon there, fold it back on itself to create a nice edge. And then we just use some pins for securing it. Now what I'm doing with the pin is I'm taking the pin and putting it in at an angle. So what I tend to do is I tend to use five and I do the middle of the ribbon, the top of the ribbon, the bottom, and then come back in and do the bit in between. Now you will find with some of the pins that they're not particularly sharp and sometimes you can get whole batch that are not so great. Another trick as well is if you're wanting to move your pin, you can use the end of your scissors just to create a little bit of leverage. And it's as simple as that. So we've got a simple binding with some pins to finish at the top. And this really makes a very comfortable handle to hold. Now I've left the stems a bit long here. What I would suggest is if you've got one third to two thirds, you probably want to cut them about here. But it depends on how you want to do it. Great thing is I would wait until um, you really want to just deliver the bokeh before you actually bind this off. Uh, that means you can keep your bokeh in water right up to the last minute and then finish it. So that was our first way of finishing. For our second binding, what we're going to do is we're going to use again a satin ribbon. And this time we're going to do, instead of a very simple binding, we're going to make it so that it has loops and it has a bow at the top. So what I can do is I can bring the ribbon down. So we're leaving a tail here that will become one of the loops. And then we're just going to roll that round. So I put a little fold in it and now I can work it round and come up like we did with the first one. But what we're going to end up with is we're going to end up with two tails. So we can cut that now to the same length. So I've got my two tails here and I can just tie that off at the top. So we've got our tails but maybe we want to do a ribbon on top or a bow on top. We create a bow. Now if you're not sure how to make a 
a simple ribbon or a simple bow like this, we actually have a video that shows you how to do this. And I'm going to tie that with another piece of ribbon. Some people like tails, some people like ribbon. The great thing about ribbon is it's a great way to introduce maybe a colour that you can't get with the real flowers. So where we are here, we just place our bow, and I only tied that once, so we've got a simple chocolate box bow. Tie that above, round the back, and then really I can come underneath here. And then actually just come above the ribbon as well. So we make that quite secure. And it's as simple as that. So now we've got a simple bokeh, but with a ribbon detail that maybe your bride might like. Different ways to finish the ribbon. You can cut them on an angle, or if you fold it over, you can cut it and get like a, a V-shaped end. So there's different ways to do that. And that's really quite secure. You don't need to worry about that. And the finish is quite well, quite good up the top. So again, our second way of doing it. So for our third technique, what I'm gonna show you is something more natural. Now, not every bride wants to use ribbon and very much a natural look can be wonderful. So what we've got is we've got an aspidistra leaf and there's different ways you can do this. What you can do is you can cut it and just take a little bit off the stem at the back. So we're taking that, that stem, that kind of vein down to being a little bit flatter and a little bit more flexible. And then we can really just use that leaf going round the bouquet. Now another way that you can do it is you could actually just put your leaf on and then fold it round. But I think the benefit of uh, taking that vein off is that it actually allows you um, it allows you to keep it nice and flat, whereas this is slightly more clumsy. The benefit of this is that this stem will be in water. So we've rolled it round and we've come to the end and I've just put a little fold in it just to hold it. Now to finish this then, what I want to use is a wire. So we've got just a decor wire and we're going to go round this bokeh a few times. Now what I would suggest is the first end of the wire, you want to be have that at the top of the bokeh because what we'll do is when we get to there we can literally bring the two pieces of wire together and just twist them off so now we've twisted that off we've got this decorative piece we can cut our wire and what I like to do is just take the scissors and grab the end of that wire and then just use them to guide it and fold it into the stems so that we're not in any way going to have anything spiky or jaggy that's going to catch the bride. So the great thing about doing a bokeh handle like this is I could make the bokeh the day before and I could wrap it like this the day before and I can put it in water. And then it's simply a case of for delivery, you take it out, dry it off, box it and you're finished. Whereas with the ribbon, you're better to do it at the time before you're going to deliver it. So three simple ways to finish off your wedding work or a bokeh that you want someone to carry. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and if you'd like to keep up to date with all our videos then click here to subscribe.